Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we will create the build spec file for our project. A build spec file is in YAML format. You can read more about a build spec file on this page. I'll leave the link in this video's description. And under build spec syntax, if you select it, you will see an example of a build spec file. In this lecture, we will create a build spec file that code build will use to build our Docker image and push the image to Docker Hub. To create our build spec file, let's go to our project folder in Visual Studio Code. Then in your project folder, right click anywhere in here and create a new file. Give the file a name and call the file buildspec.yml. So you will type it like this. Make sure you type it like this. It is buildspec.yml. Once you've given it a name, press enter. The next thing I want you to do is open the reference file I created for this lecture in this video's description. This is the reference file we will use to create our build spec for code build. And in this reference file, the first thing we have is the version. The version we are using is 0.2. Then we have the phases. And under the phases, this is where you list all the commands you want code build to run. The first phase we have is install. Under the install phase, this is where you can install any software you want. And you can see here, I'm installing Python. We don't have to install Python to build our image and push the image to Docker Hub. But I like installing Python on my container anytime I create a project in code build. And I also include it here to show you how to install a software in the install phase. The next phase we have is the pre-build phase. And this is the phase we will list all the commands we want to run to build our Docker image. Once we have built our Docker image, we will move to the next phase, which is build. In the build phase, this is where we will push the Docker image we created to Docker Hub. So the next thing I want you to do is select everything in this reference file. Once you've select everything, right click to copy it, then close it. Then in your build spec.yml file, paste it in there. The next phase is the pre-build phase. And in this phase, we will list the command to build our Docker image. Remember the command to build our Docker image is in the buildimage.sh file. So before we run that command, the first thing we have to do is make both of our shell script file executable. So the buildimage.sh and the pushimage.sh file, we need to make them executable. To make these two files executable, here on line 10, you are going to type chmod plus x. Make sure you add a space between them, then enter another space. Then you are going to type the name of the file you want to make executable. The name of the files we want to make executable is buildimage.sh and pushimage.sh. So we are going to enter the name of the files here. The first file I'm going to enter is buildimage.sh. Make sure you type the name exactly how you spelled it here. Once you've entered the name of your buildimage.sh file, add another space, then enter the name of your pushimage.sh file. This is the command we will use to make the buildimage.sh file and the pushimage.sh file executable. Once you have done that, the next command we will enter under line 11 is the command to build our Docker image. Remember the command to build our Docker image is in the buildimage.sh file. If I open it, you'll see the command here. So what we need to do is enter the command to execute our buildimage.sh file on line 11. This is the command you will use to execute the buildimage.sh shell script. So first, you are going to type period and forward slash. Then you will enter the name of the file you want to execute. The name of the file is buildimage.sh. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. This is the command we will use to execute the buildimage.sh shell script. So what will happen is when we execute this command, it will go into this file and run all the commands in this file. Once we have built our image, 
in the build phase, we will push that image to Docker Hub. So just like we did up here, we need to execute our shell script to push the image to Docker Hub. The name of the shell script is pushimage.sh. So similar to what we did up here, we are going to enter period forward slash and the name of the shell script we want to execute. The name is pushimage.sh. So I can copy it here and paste it here. This is all we need to do to create a build spec file for code build to build a Docker image and push the image to Docker Hub. The next thing I want you to do is save your file. Select file and select save all. Once you've saved your file, I also want you to push your code to your GitHub repository. I'm going to select source control here and type a message. I'm going to type updated files. The message can be anything you want. Once you type a message in there, click commit. Once you've committed, click sync changes. There you go. We have pushed all the files we created to our GitHub repository. Let's go to our GitHub repository to verify that the files are there. In my GitHub account, I'll select the home page. Then I'm going to select my repository. The repository is CICD build Docker image. I'll select it. In that repository, you can see all the files we created are here. This is all we need to do in this lecture. In the next lecture, we will create a code build project that will build a Docker image and push the image to Docker Hub. If you have any questions or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.